Uh, good day guys uh, welcome to my channel in this video today I'm going to take you through uh, carry bar tools bars and buttons uh, in this video as you can see I added uh, a ribbon types with our buttons is our button for this program I've used some of this pro button already on our previous video and some are new among the new ones let's add uh, a rebar and so we can test this uh, This is a rebar. Let's add another rebar. Uh, let's take it down. Yes, one of the rebar. Let's add the level. single label here's our label uh, let's change the color we can use our setting button to change the color of the rebar uh, let's do green and take blue yes our setting so we are changing we change our rebar and let's add another uh, Let's add this other two, four. As you can see, if you add now a see, there is our setting working, and we can change the test height can put it to 60 you can see the test has increased and uh, this button section if you have choose uh, a rebar it will give me the information about the bar you see it gave me the shape code, the bar diameter, the length, number, the quantities, the spacing is zero here, this is a bar width, this is each, not total, each, there's no bend, this is a dimension, and if I take this and do the same, you will see uh, all those amazing uh, shape code 38 uh, by size 10 bar mark number 2 quantity 5 the hook length is 100 I'm refer is referring to this distance and the dimension uh, a b And then uh, let's take this one as well. Here we go. It's the same information the length, the weight, the hook. A dimension is the same as the hook. Now we can generate the bending schedule 
Here's our bending schedule. And uh, what we can do, I want to ex I can we can export this bending schedule to Excel. Selectable uh, is opening Excel. Let's give you some second. And then this is our table in Excel all your bars and you can change it the way you want it now uh, and if you want to draw let's say uh, i want to draw a beam and we can show the section of our beam you can show you can choose later as a section of our beam and we can choose it to start with a letter like a b c the number b and we can also put a grid line our grid line may start with a number or we can choose to start with later there's a number b later and we can cut our We can cut our beam. This is our symbol, cut symbol. And we can also turn the rebar into, uh, let's say, is a hiding bar that is not shown on the current view. And we can make it dash dash bar. We can do this one also, transform it to a dutch bar. And if we are, uh, let's delete this and update our bending schedule. This bar will not appear now in the bending schedule. You see, it won't appear now in the bending schedule. This uh, is a summary of our K rebar tools. I hope uh, this the refresh button is just to refresh if there's any changes. Let's say for instance, uh, if you add, if you increase the size of these bars to make sure that everything is as updated, I can just click this button and then. Uh, if uh, I query now the information of the bars, you will see the dimension have changed and the A dimension also have changed. So there we go. Um, this updated version is not yet being uh, released. I'm still busy uh, working on it. Keep uh, subscribe to my channel to to be uh, to get all the notification about uh, the release of this program. Subscribe and share so that uh, many people can benefit from it.
Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.